It's good to be with you. Welcome to Class Outside. Today, we are going to learn how to click on objects in 3D websites. For this walkthrough, we'll need a 3D scene. We will also need a JavaScript project using the 3JS library. This tutorial uses this project, which is available for free on GitHub, linked below. To review the code, I will be using the free editor Visual Studio Code. A package manager will also be necessary. This is used to quickly install the library's needed needed for the project. I will be using Node Package Manager, also called NPM. In this project, when the mouse clicks on the wheel, it will spin, and clicking again will stop it. Links to the models and images used may be found in the description. First, we can prepare our scene. I set mine up using the free 3D editing tool called Blender. If you want to know what kind of object you are clicking on, it may be useful to name it. I named the wheel in my scene so that in the code, I know what object is being clicked on. The scene is then exported as a GLTF. I choose to include the camera and lights. This way, I know where to expect my lights and camera when importing in 3JS. After this, you can make final adjustments to the scene on 3JS.org slash editor. For a more step-by-step -step set of details on setting up a scene in Blender and bringing it into 3JS, I've linked a walkthrough down in the description. Time to set up the JavaScript project. The tutorial project for this video is available on github.com for free. Using your package manager and install the necessary libraries. With npm, you can open a terminal, navigate to the directory with the package.json file, and run the command npm install. If you are following along, make sure to paste your scenes file somewhere that the project can see it. The expected path can be found in mainview.js in the scene path variable. In mainview.js, we also see the page that this project builds. We set up some variables. Then, we load the 3D file for the scene. Some code is used to use the camera in the scene as our 3JS camera. Let's look at the process to click on an object. We need to know when the mouse has been clicked. Then, we need to figure out what the mouse is clicking on. This can be done with a feature called ray casting. Ray casting draws a ray or a line from the camera and through the mouse. Every object it intersects with will be added to a list. This is how we know what the mouse is hovering over. Back in the code, add an event listener. This will trigger an action whenever the mouse is clicked. The onClick function will run Next thing we need to do is get the wheel. This comes from a custom helper function called getFirstObjectWithName. Let's go see what that does. GetFirstObjectWithName is what kicks off the ray cast. We can see a ray caster is being set up. Then we get the coordinates of the mouse on the screen. After that, check ray intersections is called. This tells the ray caster to draw a line from the camera and through the mouse. RayCaster.intersectObjects is used to get a list of all objects that line crosses. Then, out of all the objects intersected, only the ones with the name wheel will be returned. And the first wheel the raycaster connected with is returned. Now we have the wheel, we need to set whether or not spinning should occur. If the wheel exists and is not equal to null, the should spawn value is toggled from either true or false. If a wheel object was not clicked, nothing happened. Lastly, during each frame, spin wheel will run. This checks if the wheel should spin, and if so, updates the wheel's rotation. It's time to run the project. To do so, use the custom command npm run start dash dev. Two command prompt windows should open. This project uses a JavaScript tool called Webpack. It takes an extra moment to prepare, and the file's output might run faster when placed on a server. Open a web browser and go to localhost colon 3000. And look at that. Together, we have triggered an action when clicking on an object. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video. Have a great day, and thank you for for attending class outside.